All right, this guy. This guy's next. Hello there, everybody. This is Siwat the Plant One here, and welcome to part five of Let's Play Mega Man X Blind. So, last time was just this one boss, and now it's time for Chill Penguin. Chill Penguin. That sounds weird. Now we're in the ice stage, of course, and of course, ice stage means ice means lumberjack robots, apparently. Why is there, like, a lumberjack robot here? I have no idea. They ran out of enemies, so they decided to place, like, these, uh, springtime enemies, like those robo-bunnies, the buzz bombers, and some other things in there. I don't know how, but they do. They just do. Do you know how much my hand was hurt? My, ha my finger is hurting from the last video. Seriously. I had to shoot that guy many, many times before I freaking went to hell and back. Just, uh... You know what? I think I might be glad that I'm doing this blind. <laughs> because at the very least, there's no puzzles or anything. It's just straight through running gun shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't do RPGs for, for blind LPs because I would get lost. Unless, of course, it's linear like Nino Kuni would, which which may or may not exist on YouTube according to its search bar. But, jeez. Just, why why did the... Uh, why did Launch Octopus have to exist as a boss? Why did it? I'll tell you why, because they wanted to piss you off and be all like, Oh yeah, here's an underwater boss where you can jump really high, and somehow you can't, you can kind of sort of predict his every move. Well, it's kind of true to the, oh, hello. What is this? What's this capsule thingy? Hey, it's Dr. Light. How's it going? So, you've come. I don't know why I'm making it sound like Mega Man 8. X, I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hope the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. But now that, but now it seems that you are destined to fight. Because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers. Jeez. Like, long between texts is long. Beyond anything the world has ever seen. Step into this capsule and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Oh, yay, this is the part where we get the dash ability. Awesome. This is cool. Alright, let's get that dash. Let's get the dash! Huzzah! So now, I believe by pressing the Y button, we can now dash. This is so cool, actually. Now I can go through levels faster, in most cases, maybe. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I can dash now. This is pretty cool. An ostrich robot. And, of course, that means I have to shoot it multiple times just for me to get things done and over with. Alrighty, so let's see. Now we're back outside. And the thing's telling us to go down. Or not. It, could, it just tells me now I have another robot. Awesome. Alright, awesome. I get, I get another robot now. This is very sweet to me. And I like it. Die, you uh, dragonfly robot people. I am proceeding on my way to Storm Chill Penguin's Castle. Have fun storm in the castle! And out! No! 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not falling into that pit. Because I don't wanna. I don't wanna fall into that pit because I don't wanna, Mom. Alright. Whoop! Yes! And can I actually use this to... No, I can't. Oh man, so it is just like a Yoshi. <laughs> This is just like a Yoshi. It does provide you with extra health, but and yet in the long run, it can't jump over walls for shit. Even though Yoshi's jumping ability is freaking awesome. Okay, got a snowball robot right there, I guess. So, there we go. 
Or I could just wall jump like this and just ignore it entirely. Yeah. Wait, I haven't been using uh, the torpedo thingy. So, whoa, holy crap, that is, that is cool. That is actually pretty cool. This is cool. Can't wait to experiment with this on the boss that I will die to a million times and probably will die a million times over. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to, I don't want to die again. No, I refuse to freaking die. Okay, there we go. There we freaking go. And now more horming torpedo. Horming torpedoes. Okay, that's weird. Okay, so now that stage took five minutes. Huzzah. And, yep, I'm at zero lives left. Excuse me for one second as I cheat again. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. If at the at the rate of this at the rate this is going, I might as well do the safe state business because because really, I don't want to be here for about 20 million parts. This isn't like the Sonic thing where this isn't like oh, I could probably figure out this guy. Probably figure out this guy. Unless, of course, he decides to summon ice ghosts. Okay, so homing tor torpedo won't work. So, chameleon sting, do your thing. Okay, maybe it won't work. Alright. Like, seriously, I don't know if uh, weaknesses apply to here. But, whatever the case, I might as well try it anyway. Alright, I'm guessing fire will work on this guy. Fire wave will work on this guy. Yeah, it does. There we go. It does. See, I can figure things out. See? This guy's a bitch. And, oh, nope. Nope, no, 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 no. Okay, good. Okay, good. This is very good. This is very good. I'm surviving clearly on luck. Okay, so the weakness thing does have a factor in this. Woo! Yay, I actually beat a robot ma Okay. <laughs> this is probably going to be like an order in which things happen, okay? I'll find an easy, easy Maverick first, and then a very hard Maverick next. Easy, then hard. Easy, then hard. <laughs> and we get Chuck on Ice. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Okay, Freezing Blast. Okay. Nothing really too special. It's not like the st Chameleon Sting or anything like that. Okay. Alright, so we got three more Mavericks to go. Let's see. Where's the map farthest to the left to? Because I want to take on the farthest left guy. Because I could do this guy next. Spark Mandrill. Okay. Spark Mandrill, I guess. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. This track. Let me let me actually listen to this track a little bit. Oh, man. This is pretty cool. This is actually a pretty cool track. I like it. Well, maybe it's because, well, Spark Man, Spark Mandrill. Sounds pretty friggin' obvious to me what they're trying to contribute to. They're trying to contribute to Mega Man 2, obviously. Because Mega Man 2 is obviously the best one. And now, Dark Areas. Okay. Do those Ultras robots even do anything? Aside from a qu Ow! Okay, the things that pick up light actually hurt you. Okay. I guess that's cool. Okay. Alright. Now to avoid that. And now we're out of the area of the darkness. You know what I find kind of interesting about this game, actually? Is that the fact that it's not... The, the room... The stage isn't divided up into sections. Like, you know, when you take on a boss, it always does that... Does this thing right here. And, uh... Oh, hello, hello, hello. I'm about to fight a... Thingy. And I'm getting stuck on water. Oh. And why am I not using... Why... Uh, why am I not using anything... Any of my new robot power or whatever the heck. Okay. Here we 
we go. And whoa, whoa, it can bounce off of walls? That is cool. Dude. Awesome. I found a new best friend. Don't tell Lady Palutena. I always, I should shut up with quoting Kid Icarus forever. All right. Uh, that's, that's cool. That boss was pretty interesting, I guess. That was pretty interesting. But, uh, yeah, what I, what I find kind of interesting about this game, actually, is, uh, the fact that it's all one stage and not different sections of it, like the older Mega Man games were. I guess it's kind of cool that they decided to do that. Or maybe it's kind of like what Raptor said in that, uh, sequelitis. Well, take note, before, like, the last time I listened to it, I only listened to it. I didn't necessarily, uh, I didn't necessarily, uh, look at the video footage. Only for the classic Mega Man, not the Mega Man X. Like, again, I must stress, I only know of the intro stage, but that's about it. I have not seen the rest of this game, nor, nor have I wanted to see this game, actually. But you know what, despite this, I'm actually having, I'm actually having pretty much any kind of fun with this game, actually. I mean, I mean, like, bosses, for me, that one boss, or at the very least, Sting Chameleon, takes some time to get some strategy going. But, really, for the most part, I, I think I'm actually having fun. It controls nicely, it controls nicely, it has, this actually is a pretty cool track, and, uh, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Also, chicken robots. Okay. Okay, I gotta I gotta fight this guy, don't I? Yep. Yep, there we go. And now to save state forever and ever, because that's what I because that's what I do best in this sort of situation in which I have a thing I need to do. Yeah. <laughs> again, I must apologize for it, but then again, I don't really give a sh so anyway, let's try homing torpedo on this guy to see if it'll work. And, oh, goody, a boss fight in the dark. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so we got a tiger thingy. And, oh, God, he hurts! Okay, so homing torpedo doesn't work, so chameleon sting should do something. Hopefully. No, it doesn't. You know what? I, fr I might as well freaking die right there, because... I might as well freaking die right there, because I would have had to reset everything all over the place if I did. So this could be another five minutes for me, but for you it will be a, a second. So I shall go ahead and meet you guys back at Spark Mandrill. Oh, what the heck is that? What is that thing? A heart thingy. I want to get the heart thingy, but I can't because the thing's in the way. What the heck? Ah! I can't do anything. Eh, whatever. I'm almost there anyway, so yeah. I also got an extra life, so yay. Okay. Now I'm over here. And let's see if ice will work. I got four lives. I don't care if this video goes on for too long. I don't care. I'm completing this boss fight. If it's the last thing that I freaking do. Despite the fact that Spark Mandrill kind of hurts a lot when he does that rush in attack. And, oh. Hi. You can get frozen. By that thing. Okay. Okay, so I know. I at least know that. You can get frozen by that thing, and that's apparently his weakness. Okay. That's cool. That's awesome that I know that, and it's not awesome that I die. Okay, so, shot ice, shooting ice, or whatever the heck it, that is. Ice. That's his weakness. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, there we go. There we go. Alright. So, I, I, okay, at the very least, at the very least, I got his weakness down. So, I just gotta shoot at the right time whenever he's, uh, on the ground at the very least. And then when he breaks free... And does whatever he does. I shall go ahead and use that on him. Again. And, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ow. Nope. You shall not get me. Good sir. Okay. Nope. Okay. No. No. Oh. 
frick! I almost had it! What the frick, guys? What the frickin' fricks? Whew! Man. This is purely intense. But I'm almost out of ice shots. So, sheet. <laughs> okay. I can do this. I can do this, man. I got this power. I might as well use it for good. And, oh, there. Oh. Yeah. I can even stop the attacks. Neat. That is neat. Okay. There we go. And, nope, nope. Stop the attack. Yeah. Yes. 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 And yes. More yes. And more yes. Okay, so now I just gotta... Get him with this... Okay. X-Buster. Okay. Just gotta get him with that, and then we're in the clear. And I was already in the clear. <laughs> Woo! Awesome! And it only took me, a, a like, a game over and a half. <laughs> Alright, so what weapon do we get this time? A weapon that he doesn't obviously use? I wonder. Yeah, so we got a kind of sort of hard bar. Electric Spark. Alright, let's see. Okay, Rapid Fire Electric Bolt thingies. Okay, that's cool. This is cool to me. Okay! Man! That was a fight. So, oh god, we still have... <laughs> I just realized I've only beaten five of the guys. And we got three more. Damn. But in any case, next time on Let's Play Mega Man X Blind, we are going to do this guy next. See you guys on next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.